Hi guys, so I'm going to be taking you through symlinks today, symlinks and junctions, which are almost the same thing. And what these are is they're like regular links on your computer, which is a little pointer that takes you to where a file is, right? Now, the difference between that and a symlink is a symlink is a little pointer, but it pretends to be the file that it's pointing to. So it acts like it's actually the file. Right, so if a program is relying on that file in a certain place, right, you could put a symlink of it there even if the file was not actually at that certain place. A junction is the same thing, right, but it is for folders, right? And so if you have a whole folder of stuff that's at a whole different location, like maybe on an external drive or maybe in a backed up directory, right, that is not where you know, one of your VSTs expects it to be. You can make it pretend like the whole folder is there. All right, so I'm gonna show you an example of one of the things that I use it for. All right, so these are my VST presets from all my different VSTs, right? And these different VSTs often will have different locations where they want their presets to be, and they're just scattered all over the place, and it's a mess, right? So what I do is I keep them all here, and this is backed up by Google Drive. Right, and then I will symlink these folders to where they're expected to be. Right, so if I'm looking at my serum presets, I have my serum presets right here. Right, and this includes all my wavetables and everything. But serum isn't looking here, serum's looking where it's normally looking in like the expert directory in like documents or something like that. Right, and so even if I reinstall serum, I don't need to tell it to go look here again. Right, because the folder is already symlinked in the directory that it's expecting it to be by default, right? So I'll show you how to do it, right? It's very easy. It's a feature that's built into Windows, but the natural way of doing it in Windows is a little bit clunky because you have to enter the command line, right? So there's this thing called the link shell extension by Herman, I have no idea how to pronounce his last name, but there it is, right? So I'm gonna leave a link for this in the description, but you can also just search for link shell extension and you'll find it. Right, but you just go here, you can click this download button and it'll bring you down here. Scroll down a little bit more, right? And you want one of these. Um, I did the this guy, right? The 64 bit redist. So, say I am have these Cthulhu presets or something, right? Well, I could right click on this and I could click on pick link source. This will only show up if you've got the link shell extension, right? It's just why you want to do it because you just right click and there it is right so i would go where the cthulhu presets normally are right which i believe is in um documents x for right cthulhu presets right so you can see this little hand icon there that's what happens when you drop as and i would drop it as a junction because it's a whole folder right so i renamed this cthulhu presets because that's what it was expecting Right, and you can see if I open this up, right, one, it's okay to delete your symlinks. Do not move your symlinks. If you move your symlinks, it's going to move all the files from the symlink directory or, you know, this junction into that folder, which is not what you want, like wherever you drag it. So, but this will take me into the presets folder that, okay, so if you look up here, it looks like it's in Documents X for Cthulhu presets, but it's not. These files are actually in that C drive VST presets, Cthulhu presets, right? It's where it was originally, but it's pretending like it's here, right? So I can have all of my presets backed up where I want them and then make them pretend to be wherever they need to be for the programs to run naturally. So there's a million reasons why you might want to do this. Make something from your external drive, pretend like it's somewhere on your main drive, um, trick other programmers to believing, you know, something somewhere like, you know, I have my uh, like Keyscape and Omnisphere and stuff. They're so big, right? So I have them on my external drive, and then I symlink those directories into the directory that Omnisphere thinks they're supposed to be in, right? And so they pretend like they're on my C drive, even though they're on my E drive, right? There's a lot of uses for this. It's super easy. You just right-click, pick link source, drop as after you've installed this little tiny thing, and that's it. That's really it, and there's a million uses. So... Uh, thanks for so much. Um, 
you know, if you find out any other cool uses for it, put it in the description so that other people watching this video can uh, try that. And so I can, you know, up my game too. Um, we're all in this together. So uh, thanks so much. My name is Missing Links. And if you have any other questions, put them in the comments. And please like and subscribe and all that. Take care.